What's good and what up? It's your brother Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Do me a favor, family, before we get started with the content, y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. All right, so on the Uncensored Truth Podcast, last couple of days, we've been talking about this Gucci situation. Bullshit, if you ask me. A lot of entertainers have been calling to cancel Gucci, T.I., T-Pain, Soldier Boy, to name a few. We talked live on a podcast yesterday about, about the early 90s and early 2000s where it was such a renaissance in black designers, black clothing. I mean, we had FUBU, Sean John, Rockaware, Fat Farm, Baby Fat. There was this Carl Kanai. There was a line of, of, of fashion designers and clothing that we could put on and be proudful of. And we asked ourselves, what happened to these designers? Because now we run and flock to the Gucci and the Prada and all this nonsense, and they obviously don't care about us. It, it, it's blatant in how they manufacture their clothes, how they promote their product. It was in our face the whole time. Well, Russell Simmons, CEO, entrepreneur, a mogul when it comes to fashion, a mogul when it came to hip hop, he had something to say in regards to what happened to the black renaissance in fashion. Here's what he said. I spent many years in the fashion industry. I helped redefine it. We created a billion dollar grocery company with Fat Farm and Baby Fat. I'm proud to say that I helped many hip hop entrepreneurs and companies follow suit like Rockaware, Apple Bottom, and many others. I found them, their partners, and mentioned them during their launches. Now one day, Macy's began buying up all of our top brands. We thought that was a breakthrough or a good sign, being accepted by our oppressor who hated and looked down on us. Then they discounted us and all intentionally killed all the black businesses that we fed. Thousands of shops, billions of grossing dollars, going to the independent, mostly black shop owners, there were thousands of young black and white kids in fashion looking up to Damon John, Sean John, Kamora, and all of the young black designers. White kids were buying all the brands as well. They were all studying their fashion and building hundreds of companies that were distributed by the shop owners that were in business because of us and supporting us long before. Macy's bought and discontinued the top 15 designers. I'm going to say that again. Macy's bought and discontinued the top 15 designers. It was intentional, deliberate, and incredibly effective. They killed that fashion revolution. I grew up and lost a taste for clothes that were basically cheap to make but too expensive for my brothers. But they were defining me as a small man needing a quote-unquote status symbol. I realized that was embarrassing to wear them and my community members couldn't afford them and I didn't need them either. When are we going to wake up and take off the horrible dead animal shit and shiny crap and realize where the true shine lies? Let's instead focus on the things that serve our community and really bring us happiness. Fuck the fashion industry and the elitist backwards and hurtful mentality that it represents. When you wake up and realize that it's not what's on you, but what's in you that defines you, you will let go of the sickness that separates from your brother and sisters and ultimately separates you from God's Grace. Very powerful words from Russell Simmons. I couldn't agree more. When we asked ourselves, well, what happened to the, the great industries of old? What, what happened to these things? It, it, this makes sense. They buy us up and then they completely destroy us. Which also comes and begs the question of ownership. Should we sell? Now, once you start seeing a great product, somebody wants to go ahead and swoop that up and make it their own. Prime example, GOAT, a GOAT app, or excuse me, a sneaker app that lets you buy and sell any brand of sneaker you want. They were destroying Foot Locker, they were destroying uh, Kicks USA, they were tearing them up because you can get any pair of brand of shoe you want. Well, Foot Locker went and just bought them out for a hundred million dollars, and it was like, damn, the, the money is great, it's unbelievable, but what are you buying into? What are they going to take your brand and turn it into? So when you see Fat Farm, Baby Fat, and these other designers back then, 15 years ago, thinking that they were doing something good for the culture, it ultimately did something and destroyed. We gotta keep it in-house at all times. It's something that Dame Dash ultimately promotes, something that I respect about him. When he talks about financial independence, financial freedom, ownership of all. We don't need to sell into anything. We don't need to buy into anything. Ownership, ownership, ownership. Now, if it makes sense financially, you have to make sure you dot your I's across your T's properly to make sure your brand remains and keeps a standard to who you are and the people that you want to distribute it to and the people that support your brand. Because when they buy it up and they change it up, then you see that it ultimately goes right down the drain like your fat farms, your food booze and things like that. So very powerful words 
from Russell Simmons. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section right now. Let me know what you think of Russell Simmons' thoughts in regards to this. Is he right? Y'all let me know right now. Also, in the description box, just links to our Twitter, IG, which you also see up top, and all the platforms that myself, Sandman, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News Run, Sandman Uncut, Push Up with Sandman. Of course, I'm the co-host of the Uncensored True Podcast from my brother, O God, over at Hip Hop News Uncensored. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Content kings. We are not playing any games. You can also listen to us for your listening pleasure on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and all major online outlets. We sincerely appreciate each and every one of y'all's support. Always trying to keep it raw, real, and uncut here at Viral Hip Hop News. Until next time, until next story, I sincerely appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I'm out of here, man. Peace. A few companies that, mm, I mean, they stood by Kaepernick to a certain extent, you know, a few months ago. But, um, yeah, man, it's obvious that once one of these rappers wear it, whether it be a Yankee hat, a sneaker, they're influential and everybody's going to want to wear it and it's going to affect that company's bottom line for now and probably even forever for some of these companies like Tommy Hilfiger and Polo. Indeed. T-Pain, Florida rapper, he has something to say about the situation. Yes, Gucci really did this, but keep promoting it. Happy Black History Month. How many of y'all are boycotting? Y'all boys talk big on how y'all dropping heavy bands at the Gucci store, then go to a Black-owned business and try to get a discount on two white tees because we got to look out for each other. Y'all boys, big goofy. Oh, God, what's your thoughts on that, man? I couldn't agree more, man, on that sentiment. Yeah, I mean, we, you got, you always got, you know, the uh, the segment of guys like, man, I don't care. You're going to have a, you have all these rappers up in arms. You had this one dude to pop out and, and flooded in Gucci, Gucci headband, Gucci watch, Gucci belt. So you're always going to have the ignorant mm -hmm. among us. But um, again, man, I'm about, you know, the companies, the rise of the independent companies, you know, people who, you know, making those popular. That's what I'm about. You know, somebody put in the chat room, why do we need black designers? I don't need them. Make I make your own. Make your own stuff and make that popular. Everybody now, again, is the Fashion Nova thing. And I'm not hating. Get your bag. If Fashion Nova's coming with a deal for you to promote on your Instagram, okay, you can get your bag. I'm not going to say you shouldn't get your bag. But what we're trying to do is, is independent, man. If you really want to fix this problem, it's independent companies that don't have to, you know, um, bow down. You know, worry about stuff like this. You can hire your own people. Indeed. I want to go to the chat room real quick and read yes, a couple comments in here regarding this issue. I don't think Gucci hates black people. Black people are huge contributors to Gucci and would do anything for their customers. All right. I, I appreciate the comment, but my rebuttal to that is this. We were talking about this on the Answer the True podcast yesterday. If Gucci did really make a mistake in our sorry, why don't they go to some of their biggest people that donate to their brands, your futures that go ahead with 300K, you got your soldier boy that wears the headband and all these people that rock and make them the most money and go ask them a, a place or organization where they can go and donate money to their school system, mm -hmm. go donate money to their community, go put dollar in certain places where brothers and sisters can't afford Gucci, but go ahead and die in the street to try to go get it. Won't you try to go make some genuine change? They ain't caring about that. And it would be easy for them to go ahead and sign a check to people's donations and go and do that. But you got rappers out here promoting the nonsense. You got people getting top dollar for it. They don't really care, man. That apology, they could save that. I have to disagree when it comes to Gucci because if Gucci didn't, if the Gucci deliberately did not know what they were doing and it wasn't uh, intent involved in that, mm -hmm. they'd be putting their money where their mouth is and all they're doing is apologize. Yeah, and I'll read what Gucci said just to be fair. They said, Gucci deeply apologizes for the offense caused by the wool you know, uh, Bacalava, I don't know how to pronounce that, you know, whatever that word is, jumper. We can confirm that the item has been immediately removed from our online store and all physical stores. We consider diversity to be a fundamental value to be fully upheld, respected, and at the forefront of every decision we make. We are fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment for the Gucci team and beyond people are not accepting that um no. you can make mistakes as companies but um this one you know is, is unacceptable in my book indeed somebody said soldier boy no longer supports gucci because he said they didn't cut a check i'm not sure if if he he's soldier boy said he's wearing fendi now i guess he was saying and i get it and then when these guys when you got gucci main who obviously you know was influenced by gucci so you got people who are making these brands popular again and they won't even cut them a check like if we're wearing it was if we're wearing something or whatever and they won't cut us a check he's saying i guess they're saying like it's, it's, it's disrespectful now you mm -hmm. jump to another one every you know everybody has different levels you know that they uh um
protest on. That's all I'll say. Right. You know, indeed, definitely. indeed. As I'm scrolling through the chat room right now, I'd love to get the people involved. Monterey Moore was popping, big dog. What up? I ain't seen you in there in a while, man. Good to see you. Gucci never really cared about black people. I'd have to agree with that. Somebody said something about Nick Cannon, too. I'm not in regard to what that say. Carrie owns Gucci. Uh, Yai St. Laurent. I can't even say. Believe Diago. Alexander Balenciaga. McQueen. Yeah. See, see, I don't even own any of these yeah, things. Yeah, see? I'm saying. See? They should all be boycotted as well. I agree, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is all the ones that you see the, the rappers wearing. You know what I mean? Is the ones that, you know, even people, I see people talking about Jordan. You know what I mean? Which I love, you know, wearing Jordan. You can see I got it. Sam Ant got the Jordan over there. There's been a lot of criticism also, you know, of Michael Jordan.